the last step with the electronics is to upload the firmware to the, the new firmware to the Arduino board and you'll find the, the firmware for the dual extruder on the mega upload folder the link is on our website on the if you go to the product page of the Prusa R3 kit you'll see just below the uh, specifications there's a line that says all the information about the printer has been stored on a mega upload folder and you can download the firmware there if you have the auto bed leveling kit you can select the one with the auto bed leveling kit else you can select the one without the auto bed leveling kit so now I've downloaded the new firmware and I've opened it in the uh, Arduino IDE and I'm just checking that I've selected the correct board under tools the correct processor and the correct port for this printer and then I click upload this process is also described in your assembly instructions at the end of your assembly instructions it describes how to upload new firmware to the um, to the printer when the upload is done the printer will restart and you'll notice that on the LCD screen it displays the hot end 1, hot end 2 and the bed which is different from, from previously now for the moment of truth we will switch on the, the power and what should happen is that the fan that's cooling the electronics should switch on as well as both of the fans cooling the hot end, the small 30 millimeter fans now we will connect the printer um, or the computer to the printer so we have connected to the USB already when we upload the firmware and we can click connect then you'll see that there's only one extruder shown here at the bottom so if we go to printer settings you can click on the gears on the top right hand corner of the screen or you can go to tools sorry no, co uh, config and then printer settings and under the extruder tab the first heading there is number of extruder and that you can change to 2 so then it will add another extruder at the, at the bottom and now the first thing that we will check is that we can read the temperatures of both extruders they should read both um, room temperature at the moment now we will switch on extruder 1 and you can keep your finger on the heater block to see if it gets hot and now we want to check if you can feel that it's getting hot and secondly that the extruder 1 the temperature is increasing on the in repetier host once you've confirmed that you can stop it so that was the extruder on the right hand side we'll do the same for the extruder on the left hand side switch it on hold on to the heater block to see if it heats up and there we can feel it's heating up and I can see the temperature is rising the third thing that we want to test is the fans here at the front so if we switch on the fan click on the fan button the red line will disappear and the fans will start spinning so they are controlled together now we will test if the auto bed leveling arm is still in the correct orientation if you used your servo from your previous setup it shouldn't uh, this shouldn't have changed but just to make sure we can type in the line at the top that says g-code we can type m401 and send it and then the servo will go down to its down position then we can set it so that it's it's facing directly downwards and if we type M402 it will go to its up position now we can check the homing so I'm just going to go over the x-axis if you push the x-axis switch 
it will go to the right hand side and it will stop against the switch the other axis should still be fine so I'm not going to discuss this in the, the video but it's a good idea to check them now we will test the extruders and how we do that is we will heat up both hot ends so we switch it on and they need to be above 180 degrees Celsius else the printer will, will not turn the extruders uh, it's a safety, safety feature while we are waiting we can take uh, Allen key and increase the tension of the, of the two extruders so you'll see there's a, a, a hole in the top bracket that goes down into the, through the center of the spring and if you turn that out then it will increase the, the pressure that the bearing applies to the filament onto the filament drive gear and we can increase both of them to about 60% of maximum. Now that both extruders have reached temperature, we can test them. So how we do that is in Repetia Host, you'll see just above the icon that you can extrude filament is a drop down menu that says extruder 1 or extruder 2. So we will select extruder 1 and we'll extrude 10 millimeters of filament and then the gear on the right hand side should turn uh, counterclockwise then we will select extruded 2 and we'll again extrude 10 millimeters of filament and then the gear on the left hand side should turn clockwise now that we have tested everything and made sure everything is is working we can tie the, the wires down with the cable ties provided just a, a tip that we found works very well is the auto bed leveling wires we cable tie to the screw that triggers the, the X switch so to keep them there close to the, the frame and then combine them at the top here with the motor wires and the 30 millimeter fans and the cooling fan wires we route here through the middle and between the two motors and then we combine the hot ends and from the, the hot end from the right hand side and the hot end from the left hand side to the motor cables.